Hello and welcome to Daily Prelims Practice. Here we are going to take up the MCQs which are based on today's news article of The Hindu and Indian Express. The topics for today's discussion are listed on your screen. Let us begin our discussion. The first question of today's discussion is based on this news which featured at page number 2 in The Hindu. It basically talks about heat waves and recently IMD officials has said that Delhi has not seen heat wave in May for the first time since 2014. Although the context of this news is not important as far as our prelims exam is concerned. But the topic of heat wave is important as UPSC has previously asked questions related to the phenomena which are associated with temperature. In 2015, UPSC asked about cyclones and the question says in South Atlantic and South Eastern Pacific in tropical latitudes, cyclone does not originate. What is the reason? You need to identify the correct answer from the given four options. The practice question in this regard says that consider the following statements regarding heat waves in India. The first statement, according to IMD, a region has a heat wave if its ambient temperature deviates by at least 2.5 to 3.5 degrees Celsius from the long term average. It is an incorrect statement because IMD has said that if the temperature deviates by at least 4.5 degrees Celsius from the long term average, then it can be said that a region is witnessing a heat wave. So the first statement is incorrect. The second statement, IMD declares heat waves if the maximum temperature of a station reaches at least 45 degrees or more for plains and at least 40 degrees or more for hilly regions. It is again an incorrect statement because the accurate limits are more than 40 degrees Celsius for plains and more than 30 degrees Celsius for hills. Both the statements are incorrect and the answer to this question becomes D which is neither 1 nor 2 and the answer to the previous year question is B which is the ITCZ zone which seldom occur. The next question of today's discussion is based on this news which featured on page number 6 in the Hindu. It basically talks about the delimitation exercise which is going to be conducted. As this exercise is conducted on the basis of census, so most of the southern states who have successfully implemented the population control policies are protesting against it. The delimitation is an important theme under the polity section of our prelims exam. And UPSC in 2017 asked that for election to Lok Sabha, a nomination paper can be filed by. In this question, you are being given four options and you need to identify the correct answer. The practice question in this regard says, consider the following statements with respect to delimitation commission. The first statement, it is appointed by parliament to delimit the parliamentary and assembly constituencies. It is an incorrect statement because this commission is appointed by president and not by parliament, which makes the first statement incorrect. The second statement, such commissions has been constituted five times since independence. It is again an incorrect statement. Delimitation commissions have been constituted four times in 1952, 1963, 72 and 2002. The third statement, the orders of this commission have the force of law and cannot be called in question before any court. It is a correct statement. The delimitation commission is a high power body whose orders have the force of law and they cannot be called in question before any court, even before Supreme Court. And these orders come into force on a date to be specified by President of India. And in this question, you need to identify how many statements given above is or are correct. As only third statement is correct, the answer to this question becomes A, which is only one. And the answer to the previous question is C, because a nomination paper for the election to Lok Sabha can be filed by any citizen of India whose name appears in the electoral roll of a constituency. The next question of today's discussion is based on this news which featured on page number 9 in The Hindu. It basically talks about Buddhism and the crux of this article, India and China both using Buddhism as a tool of soft power to improve their relations with Nepal. As Buddhism is an important and recurring theme in UPSC prelims exam, hence this topic is important for our discussion. In 2020, UPSC asked a question regarding cultural history of India. In this question, you need to identify which of the following pairs are correctly matched. On the similar lines, 
we have curated one practice mcq which says regarding various sects of buddhism consider the following statements the first statement the sharvakian sect kept their faith in ideal worship and saw buddha as god it is an incorrect statement the sharvakian sect is also known as hinayan and they saw buddha as a great soul and not as god moreover they did not believe in bhakti and ideal worship so this statement is incorrect the second statement samitya is a sub sect of hinayan tradition which believes that an individual does not exist independently from the five sakans it is a correct statement samitya is a sub sect of hinayan and it believes that individual does not exist independently from the components that makes up one's personality which is known as the five sakans and their important center of learning was based at vallabhi which is in gujarat the third statement mahasanghika school in buddhism came into existence after the second buddhist council it is again a correct statement the second buddhist council was held at vaishali under the patronage of king kalasok and it was presided by sabakami and it was after this council the mahasanghika school came into existence in this question you need to identify the correct statements and the answer to this question becomes b which is only 2 and the answer to the previous question is also b which is 1 and 3 moving on to the next question which is based on this news which featured at page number 24 in the hindu this news says mosquitoes insect vectors cannot transmit hiv diseases which can be spread from animals to humans and between humans are important and recurring theme in upsc prelims exam which makes this topic important for our discussion in 2017 upsc asked about zika virus and in this question you are being given two statements out of these two you need to identify which of them is or are correct on the similar lines we have curated one practice mcq which says consider the following statements with reference to human immunodeficiency virus which is famously known as hiv the first statement HIV belongs to retrovirus family with RNA as its genetic material. It is a correct statement as HIV is a RNA virus and it is characterized by the presence of RNA as its genetic material. This disease damages the immune system and if left untreated HIV can lead to AIDS. The second statement HIV primarily targets red blood cells in human body. It is an incorrect statement. as hiv primarily targets cd4 cells which are a type of white blood cell which are essential for proper functioning of immune system the second statement is incorrect the third statement says in some cases vector transmission of hiv is possible it is an incorrect statement as we have discussed in the description that mosquitoes or any other insect vector cannot transmit hiv because hiv cannot live in mosquitoes blood and can only survive in human blood hence in this question only statement 1 is correct the answer to this question becomes a which is only 1 and the answer to the previous question is c which is both 1 and 2 moving on to the next question which is based on this news which featured at page number 21 in indian express it basically talks about the lightweight payment system which rbi has brought as an alternative to upi neft and rtgs payment system is an important theme under the banking section and upsc in previous years asked many questions related to payment systems and we will try to understand this lightweight payment system with the help of mcq in 2019 a question was asked on the recent directive of rbi which was related to the storage of payment system data in this question you are being given three statements and you need to identify which of the statements given above is or are correct on the similar lines we have curated one practice mcq which says with reference to the concept of lightweight payment system consider the following statements the first statement it is conceptualized by department of financial services under ministry of finance as we have discussed in the description it is a initiative of rbi which makes the first statement incorrect the second statement system requires minimum hardware and software setup it is a generic statement and as the world is moving towards digitization the new systems will require minimum hardware and software and moreover it is a decentralized system where limited hardware and software could be used 
to create instant and small digital payments which makes the second statement correct the third statement says it cannot function at a place where disaster has occurred it is an absurd statement and a an incorrect one the lightweight payment system is conceptualized to provide alternative digital payments in those areas where a disaster damages the digital payment system so in this question only statement 2 is correct and the answer to this question becomes a which is only one and the answer to the previous year question is also a which is one only the last question of today's discussion is based on this news which featured at page number 21 in indian express it basically talks about p notes and the context is that the investment through p notes hit a record high in the month of april p notes is a concept which is related to investments in stock market and upsc has asked a question on stock market in 2023 so this area becomes important for our discussion in 2023 upsc asked about the term beta in the context of finance and in this question you need to identify the correct statement the practice question which we have curated says that with reference to participatory notes consider the following statements the first statement they are offshore derivative instruments with indian shares as underlying assets it is a correct statement as p notes are offshore or overseas derivative instruments which have the indian stocks as their underlying assets the second statement they allow foreign investors to buy stocks listed on indian exchange without being registered it is again a correct statement as p notes are issued by registered foreign portfolio investors to overseas investors who wish to be a part of indian stock market without being registered themselves directly and they can invest in indian markets through p notes hence both the statements are correct the answer to this question becomes c which is both one and two and the answer to the previous question is d as beta is a numeric value that measures the fluctuations of a stock to changes in the overall stock market that's all for today's discussion thank you for watching today's dpp stay tuned for upcoming sessions which will enhance your preparation for the prelims exam